Around the world, raging wildfires are escalating. These extreme weather events, while not unprecedented, are occurring more frequently and with greater intensity than in the past. In Turkey, firefighters battle a large wildfire in Izmir district, dropping water from a helicopter as the blaze burnt large swathes of land. Budget air carrier Pegasus earlier said that a wildfire broke out in a forested area near Izmir airport and forced the airport to shut down and divert flights to near by cities. Turkey has dispatched seven planes and 16 helicopters to fight the fire, along with 35 fire trucks. North Macedonian authorities were battling a wildfire in the mountainous southern region, which left large swathes of the landscape burnt. The blaze near the town of Negotino and its surrounding villages has scorched areas in terrain difficult for firefighters to access. Taxes, pardon. Now, firefighting resources from neighboring Serbia as well as Croatia and Slovenia were deployed to help combat the fires in the country. Helicopter KA-32 of the Serbian police was engaged today in a fire in northern Macedonia in the area of Novo Silo, close to the Bulgarian border. We battled the fires yesterday and today. Altogether, 10 hours of flights and we dropped about 70 tons of water in the fire area. Conditions in the fire area and in general in North Macedonia are really difficult. Temperatures are high, over 40 degrees Celsius. Residents of the Bulgarian village were evacuated amid several active wildfires in the country. The villagers of Vodin left their homes and saved whatever belongings they could as wildfires edged closer. Amid a red code for hot weather and at the peak of a heat wave, wildfires covered huge areas in the south and southwest of the country. Firefighters from three cities in southern Ecuador are trying to put out forest fires as well. Local authorities in the canton of Giron in southern Ecuador reported that some 140 hectares were affected by the fire. The fire department of the city of, the, of Cuenca, the third largest in the country, said that dozens of firefighters from the town, along with those of the towns of Giron and Santa Isabel, are fighting the blaze, but until Thursday morning could not be controlled.